everybody happy Wednesday today we're looking at informational body paragraphs over here on the right you see the acronym race R-A-C-E this is what we're going to use to structure our paragraphs we have restate which means you're restating the question by turning it into a statement so you take the question word away at the beginning question mark away at the end and you should have a complete statement you might need to change a word here or there just to make sure it's grammatically correct we're gonna look at then you answer the question so answer all parts of the question then you cite cite means you're giving example or evidence um, oftentimes it's from the text but when we're writing an essay that does not reference a text you can give it from life from history um, whatever floats your boat. I mean it could be from a story as well whatever floats your boat and supports your answer the best and then explain when you explain you're explaining how the evidence connects to your answer okay so we're going to come over here and we are going to look at, let me skip through real quick, get my brain right. Okay. We are going to look at informational body paragraphs. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to highlight in yellow where um, they answered the prompt. Then you're going to highlight in blue where they cited an example and highlight in green where they explained. So we'll do this first one together and you'll do the second one on your own. Body paragraph one, not giving up will raise your chances of having new experiences. College coaches are always looking for students to scout. Around middle school and high school, they will begin looking for, looking for example, they will work look for outstanding athletic talents. Giving up on a sport could mean giving up on a scholarship. Nobody wants a once in a lifetime chance to be taken away as well as being scouted. If you don't give up, you'll continuously improve. So where'd they answer the prompt? Not giving up will raise your chances, because we're still discussing not giving up. Will raise your chances, ooh, no, stop moving the text box, of having new experiences. So there's our answer, so let's highlight that yellow. I get it? Yes, I did. College coaches, so now we're looking for examples. College coaches are always looking for students to scout around middle school and high school. They will begin looking. For example, they will look for outstanding athletic talents. There it is. There's our example. College coaches are looking for outstanding athletic talents. We're highlighting that in blue. Okay, so we have our answer. We have our example that was cited. Now we want them to explain how that example connects to not giving up. Giving up on a sport could mean giving up on a scholarship. So we're talking about giving up. So we've referenced our thesis or our prompt. And then we're talking about the sports in the example. Giving up on a sport could mean giving up on a scholarship. Nobody wants a once in a lifetime chance to be taken away as well as being scouted. If you don't give up, you'll continuously improve. So this is where our writer explains how the college coaches connect to the not giving up. Green, green, green. We did it. So this is pretty straightforward. It's chunked up. You should always have your answer at the top, um, your site in the middle, and your explain at the end. Now, as you're doing this next example on your own, I do not want you to be just randomly highlighting I want you to really think about where the citing, the example ends, and where the explanation begins. So, I will read this one to you, and you will do it on your own. Improvement is something on virtually everyone's mind. What you need to realize, though, is that improving takes time. For instance, at the beginning of track season, I was terrible at discus. With a lot of hard work and dedication, I am now able to throw the disc over 55 feet doesn't matter how hard something seems, as long as you never give up. Sooner or later, it will pay off. So I want you also notice on the slide, on the side of this slide, you have um, the race notes if you need to reference them, okay? So don't forget that. Use your resources. Okay, now in this one, informational body paragraphs practice. I went ahead and I put examples in here for you, and I'm going to show you how to put it all together in one paragraph. I'm going to delete this then, and you're going to do it on your own, okay? So you will be putting your own answers into this slide. So you're going to write a body paragraph for the following prompt. 
here's my example. The prompt is explain how overcoming challenges is important. So it is important to overcome challenges because it helps us to grow and learn. Now I'm going to cite evidence from my life that supports that. When I was young, my dad passed away. My siblings, oh my goodness, look at that, y'all have a typo. My siblings and I had to figure out what our new roles in the family were. We had to work together to figure out this new life. Another typo. Um, without him. So that's my evidence that I'm citing. Now I'm going to explain how it connects back to my answer. We grow and learn through challenges because we have to learn new solutions to the problems we are faced with. So I'm talking about how I'm growing and learning in this because this is a new problem I was faced with. And I had to come up with a new solution. Um, so then we are going to turn it into a paragraph. Okay, because this right here, when our little graphic organizer, that's not what an essay looks like. So if I put it all in one, I first would click tab because we always tab our first lines. And I write what I wrote here. Now sometimes you're going to have to alter what you wrote here and sometimes your writing will be fine. The key is that you need to check and make sure that everything's grammatically correct. So it is important to, oh, I missed up, to overcome challenges because it helps oops, us grow and learn, period. When I was young, my dad passed away. My siblings and I had to figure out what our new roles in the family were. We had to work together to figure out this new life without him. Not a dream. We grow and learn through challenges because we have to learn new solutions to the problems we are faced with. Okay. So you see how I have a cohesive paragraph now. I did not press enter for each part of my paragraph. It is all in one, okay? And I don't have any red squigglies, so that means I don't have to fix any spelling. Um, I did have to fix some grammar as I typed that. Okay, so you're going to plan out your paragraph, and you're going to put it into one paragraph just like this. Indent, write it all together, end with your periods, make sure grammar is correct. Um, so that is your task. I am deleting all of this, though I will be nice and I'll leave you a sentence starter. And I am deleting all of this. I'm showing you guys me deleting it so that you know this is a task you have to complete, okay? Delete, delete, and it also reminds me to delete it. <laughs> okay, so now it's empty. It is your job to restate your answer, um, cite evidence to back it up, and explain it, okay? Watch, obviously you're watching this video, but I will remind you guys in the Zoom, it's important for you to watch the video to see my example. Okay, at this point you were stopping, so quick refresher. We went over the race short answer. We separated and color-coded the different parts of the race short answer response in this paragraph. You are going to do that on your own here, and then you're going to write your own body paragraph. And you will stop at slide 21 and not move on. Let us know if you have any questions.